My friend accidentally sent a clip of her cheating to her BF. I'm in it! And now she's mad. See, that's why I don't, I, personally, I don't trust females who have group chats with a large number of female friends. I don't trust it. Look, she mad now, frustrated, because she accidentally, she shouldn't have been doing it in the first place. She hadn't been sneaking around anyway. Look at her mad. Men think that there are these issues. Like, if you were more confident or if you just, like, put yourself out there more, I guarantee you it doesn't matter what the woman's standards are. That's what they're attracted to. So if you woke up tomorrow and you were a guy and you wanted to get laid like most guys do, how would you do it? I'd go to a bar, find my pretty girl sitting at the bar, sit down, and I'd ask them if I could buy them a drink. Literally, that's all you have to do. Make yourself there Pre present yourself be confident i understand that but if that was true why would there be so many guys who complain about being stuck in the friend zone because they're too busy trying to be the nice guy they're not actually presenting themselves that they want this they're they're, they're looking like the friends so we see them. believe it or not she's speaking straight facts now me i'm gonna be honest with y'all i'm not the smoothest guy i don't have the, the best punch lines or the best whatever the case is i'm not even the smoothest i don't know how to really be smooth like that but confidence when you even tell corny jokes to a female and you're confident about it and she could tell you don't care, you know how many times that has worked for me? Just being, just looking like I'm comfortable being myself. She's not lying. Now, it's not as easy as she thinks it is because you still get rejected. I still got rejected by many females, but I got accepted by many females as well just from being confident and not caring. My best word of advice is don't even try to date in this generation, bro. Don't even, don't even like anyone. Don't, don't even put yourself through it. Now, believe it or not, she's speaking straight facts too. Kevin Samuel said, why y'all trying to date, date around, doing all that dating stuff? You should be looking for a husband when you at that age, you that pretty, you that beautiful. I just think it's funny how the tables have turned. It used to be men with such high standards of what they- What standards? What standards are men hurt by? Y'all don't want men. Y'all don't want guys. Y'all want- play toys y'all want shit to play with on your time y'all want a machine that works for you y'all want a father figure mm. someone who takes care of all your shit so Dang. that you don't have responsibility so that you don't take accountability so that you don't have to grow up you don't want a relationship nor do you want a man you want to be worshipped 24 7 mm. you want to take 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 and not give 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 anything mm. that's what guys are upset about the fact that a lot of us just want to use them Play with their emotions. Treat them like fucking pawns. Only be with them if they can give you some material shit. You're making mm. it seem like we're leveling up. You're making it seem like we're leveling up. We're bossing up and they're intimidated by it. Some guys are, but most of them, they're not intimidated by shit. They're annoyed and they're tired of it. I love when women hold other women accountable. Shout out to Is Tay Tay Baby, one of the best to do it. A lot of women don't cook, don't clean, and that's one thing men want. A lot of men want peace and a lot of women don't bring that because they're not in therapy, they're not healed, they're jumping from relationship to relationship. But men should be holding men accountable and women should be holding women accountable for their bull crap. It's not enough women holding other women accountable because well, we live in a world where women are coddled and we already know that. We live in a world where we're sensitive to how women feels. We'll tell a man that he's fat, but we dare not tell a woman that she's fat. So it's so much better, it seems like, when a woman holds another woman accountable because it's so rare. Men hold other men accountable all the time. They call each other out, this internet, rap beefs, all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But women rarely hold other women accountable. They just be on each other's side knowing that they be wrong. Why did he spend $77 in fucking Kroger? I'm gonna get on this nigga ass. What was $77 in there? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just not understanding what this nigga spent for $77 on. Hey, what season did you say? I forgot like a mother. Hey, which one you get? I ain't getting no season. I forgot which one you said. I got the flowers though. Man, oh, you got me some flowers. You got me some flowers. Thank you. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. You don't mind him spending seventy-five dollars, seventy-seven dollars in Kroger as long as it's on you. So it's wrong if he's spending it on himself or any for any other reason. But if it's on you. It's a great thing. Where they do that at, bro? Shout out to him for being a good man. Another thing, a lot of dudes in my comment section be thinking that there's no good women out there because they think all women are the same. This is an example. This is an example right here of a woman that's not the same as the other women. They're out there. But you're not going to find them at the club, probably. You know where you're going to find them? At the grocery store. You're going to find them most likely at church where women are actually have some type of morals. I ain't talking about any church. I'm talking about a good, wholesome church. 
Now, I'm not advocating just going to a church to find a woman because if you're not really a man of God, then I don't really agree with that. But I'm trying to tell you the type of character of women are in certain areas that are not where you think that they are. And if y'all looking in the same areas, y'all always going to find the same type of thing. Y'all looking in different areas, you're going to find women like her. And yes, there is female nature, and we know that. But then there comes nurture, which is the environment that shapes the mindset and how women operate and thinks and stuff like that. Her ideology, her school of thought, her dogma. That comes from her nurture, her environment, and that has a, a, an, an amazing influence on how the type of woman she becomes.